of the tutorial. So thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you. OK, we continue. Now we, we, we will finish with, uh, with the sharing techniques. And, uh, and after that, we will see how we can, uh, we can uh, develop techniques to, to, to split the processing of any computation uh, into, uh, into, uh, into several processing secure at order D. So I will present some, some techniques uh, assuming this. And we, we will conclude with, uh, with uh, an introduction to the threshold implementation problematic, which is a new problematic uh, uh, addressed by our community uh, since uh, 2012. So, okay, just to conclude on the, on the sharing techniques. So uh, I said, I previously said that uh, any linear sharing can be, can be seen as uh, encoding uh, with uh, error correcting codes with, uh, by, by a matrix uh, uh, and uh, the, the parameter of the sharing, meaning the security D and the number of shares N are related to uh, the parameters of the, of the, of the codes which, which is uh, used. But uh, there, are also, there are also other uh, techniques which can be used to share uh, sensitive data. And for instance, uh, I list here some of them. So we can try to use multiplicative masking, multiplicative sharing. So uh, why, why using multiplicative sharing? Uh, for instance, it can, be, it can make sense if uh, you want to process, uh, you want to process um, uh, uh, multiplicative operation uh, on, the, on, on, the, on Z. For instance, assume that you want to process, uh, 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 you want to compute Z square. Uh, and uh, okay, you want to compute that square. Uh, if you use uh, a linear sharing, well, not maybe not that square, but uh, that cube. If you would use a linear sharing, you will have to uh, to to, de to to develop the processing of of uh, that cube for all the shares. But because uh, the, the addition uh, uh, cannot be developed with respect to the multiplication law. Uh, there is an issue, there is a difficulty, complexity in doing that. Uh, instead of sharing the value uh, additively, you can choose to share it multiplicatively. And so, if you want to compute Z cube from the multiplicative sharing, you just have to compute Z1 cube, Z2, uh, Z, uh, Z, uh, Z2 uh, cube, and so on. So, this is a, this is a way how to, to to process with the multiplicative sharing. The problem is that with the multiplication sharing, you, you cannot use, uh, you cannot use um, uh, zero, uh, non, uh, you cannot use zero shares, of course, because if you use uh, zero shares, then the, the result is zero, whatever, whatever Z, and you cannot mask Z. So there is a difficulty in applying this uh, for, uh, for Z uh, if Z can, can take the value zero. Uh, okay, okay, there are also uh, other techniques which can be used. I list them uh, here, but uh, not all of them are uh, interesting. Uh, we, we can just maybe, li uh, I can just say a few words uh, on, on this countermeasure, uh, which, uh, which is useful when it comes to protect uh, asymmetric processing, for instance, uh, uh, the processing of RSA or uh, for, elliptic, uh, for uh, elliptic curves. We don't split, of course, uh, the secret uh, with the bitwise addition law, but we, we split the secret with, uh, with the arithmetic uh, addition law. And so uh, everything I, I, I previously said must, must be adapted to, uh, to this kind of operation. Uh, last slide on the, on the sharing. There, there is also an, uh, 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 an interesting alternative uh, to, the, to the sharing as a as presented uh, in the previous slides. Uh, the idea is, uh, is quite simple. You split Z into two shares, always into two shares. And so you, we, we, you, could, uh, you could think that, uh, okay, the security order, the security achieved here is only two. Because uh, uh, an adversary who is able to, to, to observe the manipulation of Z0 and to observe the manipulation of Z1, can rebuild Z. Uh, this is not true if you use uh, a particular code with dual distance D. So if you choose Z0 
in, a, in some code C of, dis of dual distance D, and if you choose Z1 in some code uh, C of, uh, so in the same code, then you, you can prove that uh, all the moments, all the statistical moments of uh, this addition um, uh, are independent of Z, so they are constant, whatever Z. And so only the, only the, so you have to, um, if it leaks according to the mean, to the mean weight, so in some model, if, if you want to recover the sensitive information, you have to uh, rise the leakage at some power. And so uh, it forces you to, uh, to increase the amount of noise and to decrease the, the signal to noise ratio. So it's another way how to do that. But just by to you, the, the idea is to ensure that all the statistical moments uh, t uh, till, uh, till some, some threshold d are constant with, with respect to the shared data and, uh, and become to be dependent on the shared data uh, uh, with, the mem with the statistical movement of uh, order d. So this is another idea. Another technique which have been proposed uh, recently is uh, the, linear, uh, the linear product sharing. Uh, okay, which can be applied in uh, in a different context. And uh, just a note: uh, if uh, one of uh, of the of the vector in the in the inner product sharing is constant, then we 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 have a sharing which is equivalent to the to the classical linear sharing. Okay. So now that now that, uh, that I know that I, I have many te different techniques to share uh, a sensitive data, uh, the question is how to operate uh, on this sharing uh, while, uh, while ensuring that uh, there is uh, always my security at, at, or at order D. So once again, I recall sec having the security at order D means that if I, I can defeat any adversary which is only allowed to observe D intermediate results and not D plus one. Okay. Okay. So the um, the original idea uh, I'm going to present has been proposed by by Shaisa Wagner in the Crypto 2004 paper, and it was limited in this paper to GF2, but it can be uh, straightforwardly extended to to any uh, any finest field. And, uh, and okay, I'm going to, to, to present you the, the idea. So it is based on, so it starts from uh, a Boolean sharing. So the data Z, the, vari the, random vari the variable, uh, the sensitive variable Z has been shared, has been split into D plus one shares, ZI. Okay, and now I'm going to split my processing, so the entire, pro the entire uh, processing, for instance, the block cipher processing, into operations which are only affine, or a multiplication. So I can do that always because uh, any polynomial can be, can be split like that. So I have a finite field in which uh, my uh, processing is, uh, is, dis is described and I'm splitting uh, this, uh, this processing into affine operations and uh, multiplications. For the affine operations, it's very easy to, uh, to, um, to, get, uh, to get a secure processing. So so let us assume that I have thus shares. In order to process L, to securely process L of Z from thus shares, I just have to process L on Z0, then L on Z1, and so on. And I know by linearity that the sum of thus shares gives me LZ. So good. It means that I, I, I can easily build a sharing of LZ from a sharing of Z. And, uh, and the complexity of this is only uh, uh, in D. Uh, is linear in, uh, in the security order. Okay. It is, uh, unfortunately, much more difficult uh, if I want to, uh, to, to process a multiplication, which is, uh, which is uh, however, uh, a quite simple operation. Okay. And uh, Ishai Sai Wagner have shown a way how to do that with complexity d square, meaning that it is, uh, uh, it is uh, d times uh, d times lower than uh, than the processing of uh, an affine function. So okay, we start with uh, a sharing of uh, of I want to, to securely process a times b. I have from a sharing of a 
into d plus one shares and a, and a sharing of v into v plus into d plus one shares. And I want to compute a sharing ci of a times b. So, okay, I'm, star I'm starting by noticing that uh, the sum, the, 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 the the, the sum of the shares, ci, I want to build, uh, because the, they must be equal to a times b, can be developed like that. And so I have that the sum of the shares, ci, equals the sum of all the, uh, all the uh, cross products, ai, bji. So the first thing I have to do if I want to, I can do if I want to, to securely process uh, a times b, is to process separately all the cross products, a times i uh, times uh, a, a, a i times b j. Okay, so I I have uh, I, I, with that I am able to to build this matrix. So I am I do the processing separately. Uh, so of course, if I if I manipulate if I am just manipulating uh, those uh, pro those products separately, uh, I don't uh, I, I still have my security because. The manipulation here only mix on one share of A and one share of B, and this is uh, true for all the, the elements of the matrix. So manipulating the element of, the, of this matrix uh, does not uh, does not introduce a flow uh, with respect to my B order security. The problem is that here I have a sharing of A times B into D square uh, D square uh, elements, and recall that. I want a sharing into D elements. So how to do that? I could, I could, uh, I could simply add the elements of each column and, and, and define C0 equals the, element, uh, equal, equal the sum of these elements, C1 equals the sum of these elements, and so on. The problem is that if, I do the, if I'm doing that uh, uh, straightforwardly, directly, I have an issue because here B0 will factor and I will have A0 times A1 uh, plus A1 plus A2, and A0 plus A1 plus A2 in this uh, example equals A. So I recover something which is dependent on A. So I cannot add directly those elements. So the second idea is, okay, I cannot add directly. So what, I, what I'm doing is that I'm generating a matrix of random values, Rig. I'm just ensuring that all those values are summing to zero, so they are a sharing of zero, but instead of that, they are totally random. I'm summing, I, I'm building the sum separately, so gives me this matrix, and now I can sum uh, the elements of each column. Why? Because I am, I am protected by those random values. And because those random values are random, uh, except that all, all of them sum to zero, uh, I have the independency, <coughs> and I need, I, I, am ensure, I am ensuring that if in the adversary only observes C1 or, or C2 or C1 or and, and C3 or, or only observe at most two of the, of the, of the, of the, of the shares CI, then he, he is not able to recover C. He needs to have all the shares CI to recover C because this is the only, this is, this is uh, the condition to have all the random values uh, summing to zero. Okay, so this is uh, the construction, uh, this is the idea of the construction by Ishai Isaac Wagner. Uh, so we see that we, we t in order to secure one multiplication, we need to process d square multiplications, and we need to use d square, um, d square random values. Actually, uh, Ishai Sai Wagner uh, uh, shows that it is possible to reduce by two the cost in terms of uh, random values, uh, just by, by, by using uh, uh, an argument of symmetry. So in fact, they, 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 they use the same random values here and here, essentially, uh, without uh, decreasing the, the, the security. And uh, he actually, uh, uh, it, it, it will be shown in a, in a paper uh, tomorrow that we can uh, we can still divide by by four uh, the, the randomness complexity, and this is an open question to 
to, to reduce uh, at most as possible the randomness com complexity of this scheme. Uh, we know that uh, there exists uh, uh, a scheme uh, with uh, linear random complexity, but uh, the proof is not constructed. Okay, so perfect. I have a technique to secure the processing of linear functions. I have a technique to secure the processing of uh, a multiplication at any order d. So I have a technique to, pro to secure any uh, processing of a polynomial function. Okay, because any, uh, any polynomial function can be, uh, can be seen as a sequence of linear operations and, uh, and multiplications. So great, if I, are, if, if, I need to, if I need to securely process something like that, so the processing of S on X, which is described like that, then I can split this processing into additions, scalar multiplications, here multiplication by constant, so this is linear, uh, into squares, and the squares in characteristic two are also linear, so good, the squares are, the complexity of securing the squares are also linear in, in D, is also linear in D, and <coughs> I have regular multiplications. So the first, the, the three first kinds of operations are linear, so uh, this is the, the operations I want to uh, favor in my uh, decomposition of the processing. And uh, only the multiplication, the regular multiplications, what I call regular multiplication, is, is a multiplication which is not a squaring. Okay, so this is a multiplication, multiplication A times B, uh, which cannot be described as a, as a squaring. So those regular multiplications, uh, have complexity uh, d, d, d square. So I want, <coughs> so, so my, my, my goal will be to find uh, decomposition of the polynomial function in a sequence of operations with the minimal number of multiplications because the, the, these are the, the operations which are costly. Okay, and uh, it, it, uh, it, uh, leads, uh, it leads, leads us to, to define what we call a masking complexity of S, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> which is simply defined as the minimum uh, number of regular multiplication which, is need which, are needed to, uh, which are needed to evaluate S. Okay. Okay, so it br with this definition, we this de definition brings uh, two uh, problematics. The first one is how to compute the masking complexity of uh, function s, uh, at least how to have bound. And uh, the second problematics is how to find evaluation methods which are efficient uh, for the masking complexity cr criterion. For monomials, it. Once again, it's related to something which is well known uh, in, a, in, a, in, a in the, in the, in the finite, finite field field, array. Uh, in, fa in fact, for monomials, it amounts to look for what we call two addition chain exponentiation. Uh, two addition chain exponentiation is a, is a splitting uh, uh, of the exponent as a sequence of, um, of, uh, of additions and each term, each new term in the addition, uh, in, 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 the, in the sequence, uh, must be the result of two previous terms. So this is, uh, this is uh, uh, an addition chain. And we add the term two addition chain because we, we, we also assume that the, we, we can multiply by two. So we, f we, we want to find an addition chain uh, leading to uh, the power we want to compute, and which is as short as possible. And to build this, this chain, we start from one, and we add a new element just by adding uh, the previous one, two previous ones. Okay? And for polynomials, it amounts to find efficient decomposition. And uh, so m several, uh, several propositions have been done to, 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 to efficiently uh, split uh, monomials into uh, while reducing the number of uh, needed multiplications. So a, a proposal uh, is just an application of uh, a quite famous uh, algorithm by Knut Ev. The second one uh, is, a, is a proposal we, we have done in a paper in 2012, uh, which is by, which is called uh, a psychotomic method. And uh, uh, 
Uh, another one is due to Coron Roy Vivek and uh, has been public published in 2014. So I will present this, this, uh, this technique. Okay, our first, the cyclotomic, uh, the cyclotomic method. So what I call, I, I just int uh, introduced some notation, I call cyclotomic class of alpha, uh, all the elements, all the elements, the set of all the elements I can get from alpha by multiplying alpha by a, p by a power of two, uh, two dg, modulo uh, uh, the finite field, field size, cardinality, uh, magnus one. Okay. Uh, why, 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 I am, uh, why do I uh, uh, introduce this, uh, this notation? This is just because if, it can be checked that if I have processed an, ele an element of a cyclotomic class C alpha, C alpha, then I can get, I can get for nothing all the elements of, of, the, of, the, of the same class. Why? Because as uh, beta is in the same class of alpha, I know that I can compute uh, x times x to, to the power beta just by squaring uh, several times uh, alpha, okay? Just because uh, alpha and beta are in the same class. And why, I, why do I say that this is for free? I say that this is for free because squaring in a field of, of characteristic two is as a complexity linear in the security, or security order while my goal is to minimize the number of multiplications which, which have uh, 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 complexity in, in, in this square. So, okay, great. I know that all the elements of a cyclotomic class uh, can be, uh, can be get uh, once I have a one representant, uh, one, uh, one leader of the class. Okay, so based on this, uh, this observation, what can I do? So I have the decomposition of Sx like that, so as a polynomial with, uh, with monomials, uh, the powers of, uh, of x. And first, I start by grouping all the, power, all the powers uh, which are in the same class. So, so I get this class. So this class, I can compute all the elements of this class without multiplications because once I have x, I can get, I have uh, x squared and x4, x8, just by squaring, and squaring is for free. Then I have x cubed, so I take all the elements of the class x cubed. So I, once I have x cubed, I can process for free x6, x12, etc., etc., and so on. So in fact, I am splitting, I am, I am uh, decomposing the processing of Sx as the processing of Linear, uh, linearized uh, polynomial uh, uh, in, uh, in, a, in a class cyclotomic uh, leader. And so the number of multiplications, okay, sorry. And so the number of multiplications is, on, uh, is only the number of multiplications needed to compute all the cyclotomic leaders. So for instance, here, if I assume that I have only the class in my uh, representation of the of the of the S box, I have only the elements in the class of x, x cube, x five, and x seven. Then I, I just have to find a, a way how to process all those uh, powers with the minimal number of multiplications. So, for instance, here I will have one multiplication to to go from x to x cube because I have to compute x times x square x squared is for free, so I have one multiplication here. To get x5, this is only at the cost of one multiplication. This is x cubed times x squared, and so on. So essentially, uh, the number of, uh, of nonlinear multiplications with these methods is the number, the, the number of cyclotomic classes involved in the representation of S, and I removed from this, uh, from this count the cyclotomic classes of the zero element F1 element, which can be uh, get, uh, obtained uh, without multiplication. So this is one, one uh, possible uh, way how to uh, split a processing into, uh, in, into uh, linear functions and multiplications while decreasing the number of multiplications. 
Another uh, method uh, is just an application of, uh, of uh, the Knut Eva algorithm. So it's very simple. You start by splitting uh, the powers uh, into two sets, the even powers and the odd powers. Okay, great. And now you factor by x. So it costs you one multiplication. And then you just have to reduce the, to reduce the, the degree by replacing x square by x. And now at the cost of one multiplication, you have divided the, the, the total degree by factor two. And so you can repeat this process uh, several times. So now you have two, uh, two, uh, two sequences. Each sequence uh, can be split into two subsequences, one for even uh, powers and one for odd powers. So the next step will require two multiplications and so on uh, until some order R. Uh, and it gives you uh, two times two to the r minus one uh, multiplications to get the full decomposition. And uh, after that, to finish, you just have to uh, just have to process to securely process this power. So if this power is too expensive to process, you can continue uh, to split the split uh, uh, knut F method uh, with a higher degree, and so on. Great, it gives you a method with two to the two to the n minus r minus one plus two to the r minus two uh, nonlinear multiplications. So this is another way how to, to to split the processing while decreasing the number of multiplication. Okay, the last method I wanted to present you um, is due to uh, to Coron Roy Vivoc. Donc so it starts from the from uh, from cyclotomic classes, and it starts by building a union of cyclotomic classes, of S cyclotomic classes, so that all the powers in the polynomial representations we want to split uh, belong to, uh, to, the, to, the, to C plus C, where C is a union of the cyclotomic classes. Okay, then it gives me uh, a set of polynomials P with powers only in the union of cyclotomic classes. So this is not all the possible polynomials, this is only a subfamily uh, with monomials only, uh, with monomials only in C. Okay, and now I, 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 um, I will look at a splitting of the processing of S, like a linear combination of products like that, plus uh, a polynomial. And so my question is, the, the question we have to solve is, Find to the to, to find uh, t polynomials p i and t polynomials q q i and uh, polynomial p t so that this this comes this, uh, this equation uh, holds. Uh, this is a quite this is a quadratic uh, quadratic system so it's a uh, it's a difficult system to 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 resolve but we can linearize it quite easily. We just we just fix uh, the poly some polynomials here. We choose to fix the polynomials uh, qi at random, and now we, we, we have a, a linear, uh, linear system with, so we have a system like that, with two to the n, uh, two, um, two to the n uh, equations, and we want to find uh, the polynomials pi. And as the polynomials pi belong to p, uh, they are uh, n, mag n uh, times t plus 1, times, uh, they are n times s uh, uh, terms for each, uh, n at, uh, at most n times s uh, non-zero polynomials in each pi, and I have t plus 1 for such polynomials to find. So I have step t plus 1 times n times s uh, unknowns to to to, rec to to recover, and for that I have two to the n equations. Great. So, if uh, the necessary condition here is satisfied, then uh, I can find uh, 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 I can hope to find uh, to find a solution, and 
actually, uh, what has been shown in, uh, in, uh, in the paper by, uh, by Coron Roy Vivek, that this, condi this, co this, condi this condition was sufficient in practice if the, random poly if the polynomial QI are generated at random. And uh, this is a very efficient method. Uh, it can be seen that uh, with this method, which is heuristic, but uh, we have a complexity in terms of multiplications, which is the, the, the square roots of 2 to, two to the n uh, uh, divided by n times uh, d, square, uh, d square multiplications, which is uh, very, uh, and this is a worst case uh, scenario, and this is uh, very, uh, very efficient. Uh, because we know, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, explain that, but we know that there, there is always a, a polynomial whose evaluation requires at least the square root of 2 to the n divided by n uh, multiplications. So we know that this is an upper bound. And uh, so the complexity of, uh, of uh, the method by uh, Coron uh, vivek is, is almost optimal uh, in, in the worst case. And uh, with that, you can, uh, so I, I give you a, a, a table here of, uh, for, 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 some dim uh, uh, for some dimensions. But uh, just to illustrate, uh, so we know how to evaluate in a quite easy way uh, the ISS box with four multiplications today. And uh, for the DES, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for one of the DES, for, for all, Sorry for all of the DES S boxes. We know how to uh, to process them in uh, th uh, three in three multiplications. So this is uh, quite uh, yeah quite uh, quite surprising. Uh, a, a function like uh, D D DES S box, which is which has no structure, uh, can be evaluated with only three uh, nonlinear multiplications uh, by using uh, this technique. Okay, uh, I'll finish this, uh, this, uh, this part with uh, with uh, last result, which is quite interesting also. Uh, this theorem uh, says that if you want to evaluate a function h on the sum of d shares, you can split this evaluation into the evaluation of H into the sum of a subset of the shares and the size of this subset is just uh, limited by the degree of H. So it's quite, uh, it's quite a complex uh, formulation, but it simply says that if you want to evaluate H on D shares, whatever D, you just have to know how to uh, evaluate H on the sum of uh, S shares, where S is the degree of H. So the degree of H is bounded, it does not change. So for instance, if in the, this is the algebraic degree. So the, uh, sorry, uh, I forgot to, 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 to give the definition of the algebraic degree. The ab algebraic degree is, uh, is defined as, of a polynomial, is defined as the greatest amine weight of uh, the um, of the power of the non-zero non monomials in, uh, in, the, in his, uh, in his uh, decomposition. So for instance, uh, uh, the, the algebraic degree of the IOSS box, which is defined over GF2 to, to the 56, uh, GF2, 56, sorry, uh, as uh, degree seven, as algebraic degree seven. He has degree 254, but algebraic degree seven. So here it's good, it's just it says that if the degree of H, for instance, is three, the algebraic degree is three, then you just have to know how to process H on the sum of three shares and not on the sum of D shares. If you know how to do that, you could deduce an evaluation for D shares, whatever D. So it's very interesting if there is a, a huge difference between uh, the number of shares so the security on the order and the degree of H. Oh, there is a problem, <laughs> a little problem. The problem is that the complexity of this method is uh, D times S. So it is better 
it, it can be expected to be better than uh, the Ishai Stare Wagner approach, where I, I'm splitting um, uh, the, the entire processing into linear functions and multiplications. So like here, the idea is to split the processing into linear functions and polynomials of degree at most uh, s. So this approach, which is more general, uh, can lead to efficient, uh, to efficient constructions only if s is small, because the complexity uh, of operating, of applying this technique is d to the power s. So at least for s equal to two, so for functions of algebraic two equal to, uh, for functions with algebraic degree two, uh, these functions give you a method. This, uh, this, uh, this theorem gives you, gives you uh, an argument to uh, to split the processing into linear linear uh, processing, so the processing of finite box into linear computation and quadratic computation. Not only multiplication, but any uh, quadratic function. And it will cost exactly the same as uh, the ishai sai wagner method with uh, only linear, and uh, linear functions and multiplications. OK. To conclude uh, this tutorial, I would like to relax a little bit my model to, to make it a little bit more practical. So we, we, we have seen that <coughs> if I am assuming that, uh, that uh, the adversary is limited to, uh, to D observations, and if I am assuming that uh, only computation leaks, meaning that if I focus on one operation, I will observe something which is only related to this operation, so to the input of this operation and the output of this operation. So if I, if I am in this model, so uh, I have uh, quite, uh, quite interesting methods to secure the processing. The problem is that this model uh, can be seen as too, uh, as too idealistic, as too ideal. Uh, for instance, and this is an observation which has been done in a paper in, 2000, in, uh, in two 2006 by uh, Stefan Munger and uh, co-authors. Uh, in fact, it, it, can appear, it can appear that glitches effect, what we call glitch glitches effect, uh, occur. Uh, what, is, what, is, uh, what is the glitches effect? The glitches effect is just to say that <coughs> in the ideal model, you assume that a, a gate is active only if the two inputs of the gate uh, are simultaneously uh, uh, at the input, um, are there. Uh, yeah. if, you if you split the, the processing into, uh, into, uh, into a sequence, we assume that each gate associated to uh, an operation is active only when the operation is needed. But it's not true in practice. In practice, <coughs> all the gates of a circuit uh, are active uh, uh, every time. So they can evaluate, they can, uh, they can evaluate uh, the output even <coughs> when the two inputs of the gate are not, uh, are not already there. So for instance, this is the, uh, this is the ideal model. I'm assuming that all those, all those gates are, are act at the same time. Uh, sorry, okay, sorry. In the ideal model, I will, I, I will also assume that once, uh, when this, uh, this gate is active, this gate is inactive. And when uh, this gate is, acti is active, all, uh, all the other gates are, are inactive. But in the real model, in the real life, all those gates are active in the same time. So <coughs> <coughs> when the processing here is done, this processing is also done, but not with the good input because the input is not uh, already, uh, already there, so it is evaluated on something which, which has no sense in terms of uh, the final output, but which, which can be measured to, to, to get an information about uh, wrong processing. It's a little bit like uh, in multi-party computation, uh, coming f uh, going from the multi-party multi computation model with honest players, so meaning that the circuit you are analyzing <coughs> is working ideally and is uh, exactly processing the, 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 the things as uh, described in, uh, in your paper from the multi-party computation model with dishonest players where the, the, the players can, <coughs> <coughs> can deviate from the original protocol. 
And in the world of, in, in, in the, in the world of uh, circuits, it means that the circuit you are analyzing is, uh, is uh, sometimes acting uh, in a in, a, in, a, in, a, in some way you cannot predict, in an predica unpredictable way. So it's very, uh, it's very complex to, to define security with, uh, with, this kind of if, with this kind of model. Uh, okay, I'm, I will not enter into these details. So, and uh, this is, uh, this is uh, however, the, pur the purpose of uh, the techniques uh, called uh, threshold implementation, uh, threshold implementations. So, let us uh, formal formalize the uh, threshold implementation problematic. So, you have, uh, you have uh, Z, which is shared into uh, D plus one shared Zi. We can assume that the shares are uh, additive, the sharing is additive, so for the bitwise addition. And uh, I need to also to consider uh, ZDI as a vector, itself as a vector of coordinates. So all the ZDI belongs to some, uh, some, uh, some field. So for instance, they belong to GF2256. GF2, uh, so they can view they can be viewed as the vectors e of eight bits. So this is this is essentially what I what I am writing here. If here I have a byte, I just uh, want to have the decomposition of Z of the die in terms of bits. Okay, so I write this matrix. So I have the shares here, and here I'm I'm writing the column vector. Okay, so this is uh, the vector corresponding to Z zero, the co vector corresponding to Z one, and Z to Z two, and so on. So what I want with a threshold implementation is to implement FZ. And because Z is shared, I know that processing FZ amounts to process F on Z plus one plus two plus Z two plus Z three plus Z four here. Sorry, Z four, remove it. And I want to, to process this securely, not only against uh, classical uh, such channel attacks, but also against classical such channel attacks in presence of glitches effects. And so this can be stated in, in the TI problematic as uh, the finding, as the problem of finding T functions FI and T sets EI so that each FI only operates on a subset on the bit coordinates and the, and the sum of all the output of this function fi gives fz. OK, but in order to deal with my glitches effect, I have a condition of, the, of, AI, of ei. For security at order one, meaning if I want to have a, an implementation, implementation which is secure against an adversary which is only allowed to observe one intermediate result, so if I want that, uh, the condition of on the set ei is that each, each EI must be, shut, must be such that for any, uh, for any row here, I have at least one uh, cellule, one, uh, one element here, which is missing in EI. Meaning that there is at least one element in each row which is not, uh, which is not in, e in EI. If I have that, we can see that EI is totally, the elements in, e, in, in EI are totally independent of Z. For sure, because the sum of the Z gives uh, Z. So each, if I, I remove a single element in each row, it means that it, 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 uh, I remove one share of each coordinate of Z, here and here, for instance, here and, in, and here. And so, I don't have enough, uh, I don't have a, a sufficient number of shares to rebuild Z. So if this condition is satisfied, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, I am ensuring that EI, uh, that all the elements in EI are mutually independent on Z. So it means that FI is operating on, on an input which is statically independent on Z. So FI can do anything 
it cannot reveal information on Z because it is operating on an input which is independent on Z. And so, especially if there, is, there are glitches during the processing, they will not uh, uh, lead to a security flow because this, this, uh, this, uh, this glitch will only reveal something which is independent on Z. So this is the core idea of, uh, of uh, threshold implementations. Uh, so this is quite Okay, this is quite easy to satisfy. This condition is quite easy to satisfy. The second condition is much more difficult to satisfy. The second condition is the uniformity. The, what is the uniformity condition? The uniformity condition is just to say that the sets, the, the tuple of fi after the evaluation, the tuple of fi like that, gives you a new sharing of fz. Of FZ. So you start with a sharing of Z, and after you have a new sharing of FZ. For that, in order to have a sharing, remember that you, you have to, to satisfy some condition of, uh, of, uh, of uniformity, of independency. For instance, if you want a sharing at secure at order D, you have to ensure that all tuples of D, of, uh, of, at, uh, of uh, at most D minus one shares, is independent of Z. So it means that you have a sharing. And this is, in fact, uniformity. So this uniformity condition is very difficult to satisfy because you have, not only you have to s find something like that, so to have a decomposition like that, but you have to satisfy that the outputs are essentially independent. And this, the only condition on the input is that when they sum, they equal FZ. So just uh, uh, an illustration of how uh, we, can we can see the threshold implementation problematics. So the threshold implementation problematics, you start with a matrix like that. Sorry, you start with a matrix like that. And a way how to process, uh, a way how to define the, the set E1, E2, E3, E4 is just to, for instance, for E1, you remove the first column. For E2, you remove the second column. For E3, the third one. And, and so on for E4, the uh, fourth uh, column. And then you just have to define, you just have to define the function fi. But you can do that uh, in uh, many different ways. Uh, most of the time, uh, the papers focus on this representation, on this uh, splitting. But uh, all, uh, all the, split, all the, 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 the uh, definitions of the set AI works. So ma now, how to, to define the function fi? To define the function f you can you have uh, also a quite uh, a quite straightforward method. You start with the uh, with the splitting of this function of this polynomial function, uh, which is seen as a, and you, you see this this function as a multivariate polynomials in this z die. And to define f zero, you take this polynomial, this multivariate polynomial, and you fix all those bits equal to zero. Essentially, it means that from the description of the multivariate polynomials, you, 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 remove, you remove all the monomials which contain uh, bit coordinates of the, of the shares at zero. And so you remove all those monomials. It gives you a subset of, uh, of the monomials. And with this sus subset of the monomials, you define F0. Now, with the monomials which remains after this processing, you, you do the same, but now you remove all the elements, all the monomials which depend on uh, coordinates of the, of the, of the shares Z1. And so you ensure that F1 does not depend on the share, on the share Z1. So it gives you uh, a new, a new, uh, okay, a new, uh, a new polynomial, and with the remaining polynomial after this operation, you you, you continue, you remove all the terms depending of the of the two, and so on, and so on, until you you have it remains nothing in the multivariate polynomial, and you have like that a splitting of the function f in uh, a splitting of the evaluation of the function f into f t evaluation of function fi, which apply only on a subset of, uh, of the bit coordinates of the shares, 
And these subsets are defined so that there is a total independency between the entry, the input of the functions, and uh, the shared value Z. So this is a construction. Unfortunately, it does not satisfy necessarily uh, the uniformity property. And, 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 uh, and actually, it, it will almost never satisfy the, the uniformity property. So this construction is just to say that I can satisfy the first uh, condition, but uh, it does not say how to uh, satisfy the uniformity condition. So for the uniformity issue, uh, in fact, this is, we have uh, something which is not uh, uh, fully addressed at the moment. Uh, this is the most, uh, most difficult part uh, to deal with in, in uh, special implementation uh, uh, problematic. There is no generic explicit construction working for any F. Uh, there is only smart approaches by exhausting testing. And they are based on, uh, on functions classifications with respect to a fine input-output invariance. And um, just for, 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 for information, uh, threshold implementation is, uh, is a threshold implementation of uh, the nonlinear part of the Ketchak, uh, Ketchak hash function uh, is given in the specification. That's why many, uh, many researchers are, are working on this subject, because uh, uh, it has been proposed in the, in the, in the, in the SHA-3, in the specification of the, of the SHA-3 hash function. And it was possible for the, for, for the SHA-3 hash function because the, the non-linear part has a very, very low, a very simple algebraic description. And for this very uh, simple algebraic description, it is possible to exhaustively, to exhaustively test all the decompositions. And, uh, and, uh, and at least, yeah, uh, and even it's possible to do that by, uh, with paper and, uh, and pen, and, and it's, it's quite easy. Uh, uh, just to, for your information, it, this idea, uh, the principles of uh, threshold implementation have been extended to any order by, uh, uh, in a paper by Bill Ginn and, uh, and Coursers at Azacrypt 2014. And, uh, and it has been linked to uh, the classical uh, problem of uh, security in probing model, in the probing model, uh, in a paper at Crypto uh, 2015, last year. Uh, <coughs> it has been success also suc successfully uh, applied to, uh, to the Nokeon uh, S-Box, once again, because the Nokeon no no S-Box is very simple, has a very simple uh, 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 algebraic structure and is, it's working in a very small dimension, uh, so it was possible to to output um, uh, a, um, a threshold implementation like that. So, so here you have you you have your your our functions f1, f2, f3, and you can see that indeed f1 is only uh, parameterized by x1 and x2, but not by x3. So f1, the input of f1 is totally independent of x. This is also the case for f2, for f3. Then, after that, you have a first uh, set of registers, and this set, this set of registers is still a sharing of uh, fx. So this is a sharing, in, uh, a good sharing. And, uh, and then you, you, you process a second step of, uh, of the processing with a new uh, threshold implementation, g1, g2, g3. So here, the Noekeon no, 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 no S-Box has been split into uh, the composition of two functions, uh, two very simple functions, F and G. And uh, uh, a special implementation have been, has been formed for F and for G uh, separately. OK, to conclude, uh, to conclude this tutorial, uh, we need so what I wanted to, to point out is that we need algorithmic countermeasures with formal proof of resistance, and uh, this is not only a need for researchers, it's also a need for, for the industry. We, we need to be able to guarantee uh, a, a certain level of, uh, of security, even if the model is not perfect. But of course, we also need uh, models, formal models, fitting the physical reality of devices and enabling uh, relatively simple proofs. So this is sometimes difficult, as I, as I showed you. We have models which are good because they enable uh, simple proofs, but they are not very, they are not uh, as, uh, as realistic as we, wanted, as, we wanted, as we would like. 
but we also have, uh, and, we, and on, on the opposite part, we have uh, models which are quite realistic, very realistic, but proving with these models, with these models is, uh, is, uh, is much more complex. <coughs> Contem uh, what I wanted to, to, to show is also that countermeasures must be efficient and resistant against uh, powerful, uh, powerful adversaries. So this is, this is always a trade-off. Uh, sometimes we 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 can we can accept some some uh, some low level of security because we, we we want something very efficient. Sometimes we want to we, we are able to pay a lot in terms of efficiency because we want something very efficient and uh, and it also depends of, on the amount of noise in the in the in the device. For instance, it's much more uh, simpler to 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 to, to attack. Uh, old smart card, for instance, a 20 years uh, old smart, smart card, than attacking uh, uh, an AES processing running uh, on, a, on a smartphone, for instance, because there is a lot of noise, a lot of electronic noise, and, uh, and extracting the information uh, is very complex. So in the, in the case of the mobile smartphone, you have a l low level of noise, so you have, a low si you have a very, sorry, you have a high level of noise, so you have a high value sigma, so because you have a high value sigma, maybe you can tolerate a small uh, uh, masking order D, because you know that the, I show you that the security, uh, the security uh, is, uh, is sigma times uh, to the power D. And in the other part, in, in, in the counterpart, if you are uh, working with an old smart card, maybe the amount of noise is very low, low. So in order to achieve the same level of security, you will have to pay a lot in terms of sharing order. So, okay. Uh, what I wanted to also to, to point out is that there, there is a lot of links between uh, our problematics, which can be seen as uh, quite practical, but uh, there, there are a lot of links with uh, other theories which are, which are considered uh, more theoretical, like uh, for instance, uh, error co no, not, not error coins because it's very practical, but multi-party computation or uh, um, things like that. Uh, we, we have many techniques which can be uh, uh, used from, from uh, Visore. Uh, so there are a lot of connections. Uh, also, there are connections with uh, the, the, uh, the array of efficient processing in short characteristic. And uh, so there are, some, there are uh, certainly many uh, Many uh, many ideas to take in this array. Uh, so, once again, we have a lot of many open issues. Uh, improve the proof techniques, automatize them. So there are some uh, some studies which are done in, uh, with respect to, to this problematic, uh, especially by in Spain uh, in the team of uh, Gilles Bart. But uh, uh, other pe other persons are today uh, other researchers are today interested by this. Uh, improve the existing techniques and ad adapt them to the search uh, channel context. Uh, so this is once again related to, uh, to formal proof. Uh, reduce the randomness con consumption of existing techniques. So this is, uh, this is also problematic. I didn't uh, speak a lot uh, during the tutorial, but uh, uh, generating random, uh, a good uh, random with good, uh, good quality uh, in, uh, in uh, is quite costly. And uh, so limiting, uh, limiting the, the, the amount of, no of random which, is, which has to be used uh, is, uh, is important in terms of uh, uh, timing complexity. Uh, find efficient evaluation methods, so it's more related to, to the attacks part. And uh, for threshold implementation, uh, uh, one, one on the of the open problems is uh, to find generic constrictions uh, to secure uh, uh, at least some families of, uh, of uh, polynomial functions at any other D. Uh, thank you for, for, for your attention, and if you have uh, any question, uh, feel free to, to ask uh, there or here or during the pause or tomorrow. <laughs> thank you. So uh, thank you, Emmanuel, for this uh, very interesting and very broad uh, tutorial. So uh, we have time for, uh, for a few questions.
or maybe the, the questions can be taken uh, offline. Okay, no, no questions. So let, let's thank the, the speaker uh, again. Thank you. Thank you.